Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Knobles. Last time I tried to do a video here, my iPhone broke shortly after leaving, so I was never able to put the video together. We're gonna get some awesome rides on Phoenix, Twister, Impulse, the chairlift. We're gonna try and get as much done today as possible. Jason has his chest mounted GoPro. I have my pivot head glasses, so expect some awesome POVs from today. I can't believe we just saw Zach from Great Adventure in the park, like right behind us where we parked. So that's cool. <laughs> you get him. Oh my God, wait, yeah it is. And right here on the edge of the parking lot, we can see some ride vehicle parts from a uh, Schwarzkopf Bayern Curve, yep. right? Yeah, it's a it Bayern Curve ride. About a week ago coming in. That's cool. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the Schwarzkopf logo right there. It's pretty sweet. Can't yep. wait till I get this built. So that'll bring the total to like 66 or 65 attractions or something yeah. like that. They have a crap ton of rides here. More than, more than most parks. And this isn't even like a traditional park. This place is more like a permanent fairground is what we were comparing it to on the way up. Because all the attractions and rides here just seem temporary, but they're all permanent, pretty much. Yeah, they've all been here a while. Yeah, and uh, right now we're standing underneath one of the catering groves where people, you know, have group uh, luncheons and whatnot. But we're going to head right into the park and probably end up waiting in a huge-ass line for tickets because it's literally right about opening now. Because of COVID, we're expecting some pretty long lines today. It's a Saturday, um, and the park is only open from 2 p.m. to 10. So we only have eight hours of time, which isn't a ton. And we're leaving at nine, so we got seven hours. Yeah, we have seven hours, but that's fine. I mean, I just really want to get on Twister, Phoenix, and uh, the Flyers, mostly. So right, let's see impulse. how the day goes. Right through the trees, you can see 1001 Knocked, which is that uh, ride that that crazy lady fell in love with on Facebook. Do you remember that video? No. Dude, really? Oh, there's this hilarious video. I might put a clip on it in, in here. This, <laughs> it's like a documentary style parody of this woman who's in love with 1001 Knocked. Hilarious. And right over here is Airtime the Ride. That's what I call it. I actually don't know the real name of it, but it looks like it has some really good airtime. It just like shoots you up randomly. Off to the right, we have the Ferris wheel and uh, Impulse, the park's the rear. There's impulse goes through. There's Impulse, I don't even know. Oh yeah, guest services, perfect. That's where we need to be. Jason has a comp ticket for today. So I think I'm only one train on Impulse. I hope not. Yeah. I don't know, it's only 158. The park opens at two, so that's two minutes. Actually, that ride's already open, I just realized. Some of the rides look like they're already open. Impulse seems like it's closed though. Right now at least. We just got done over at guest services. Me and Jason both have our wristbands, which include coasters, so we're super excited. I think we're gonna head over to Phoenix first, probably. See what the line's like over there. I'm sure there's already people waiting. Because yeah, uh, you can see how busy this park is already. It's crazy. And this ride appears to be testing. There's so many unique rides here, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like really? like this is something you wouldn't normally see anywhere. That is in park attack though. It's really cool. I might actually get on that later. There's so many rides here, like you literally this is almost a two-day park. I mean you need to spend a lot of time here to get Especially on everything. With this crowd, yeah. Oh look at the train yeah. line. Oh crap. Yeah, I expect to wait for quite a while for some of the rides today. That's all right, though. It's all Repay about the passes. experience. Here you got them. Got wristbands. Okay. Ordinarily, this would be a free admission park, but because of COVID, they're actually checking to make sure people buy wristbands to get in. And uh, they're trying to restrict capacity as best as possible. It's, it's still super hard, though, because there's a lot of open entries on every side of this park. Yeah. So uh, as soon as you park your car, I mean, you can walk in in any direction. Yeah, they should probably stop letting people in, like, now. <laughs> yeah. There's a crap ton of cars coming in. I thought I was going to burn my clutch out coming up the hill because we kept having to stop and start up again, and I drive a manual truck. This area right over here with the small covered bridge is actually prone to flooding a lot, yeah. and there's markers down there on the bridge that show where, mine, where the water levels were over the years. A friend of mine said they've been going over capacity here. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope it doesn't get super busy. They haven't been keeping it. Another really unique thing about Knobles is they have, like, random buildings in the middle. And it looks like this was once like a road, was, yeah. and now it's just part of the park, so they turned it into a midway. We ran the corner over here with the flyers on the left, probably the fastest flyers in the world. These things are ridiculous, honestly. Yeah. Probably too fast for the run good. It runs on like an old school tractor motor. And it goes fast to tell. 
ATV seat right here is kind of snapping. Woo! Definitely gonna get on that later. Another kind of thing you see at Knobles is people walking dogs. Current line for Phoenix. It's really probably only like 20 minutes or a half hour because it goes literally straight under and around the station and there's no switchbacks, so. We're gonna time the um, operations here. Phoenix yeah. only runs one train most of the time. So we're gonna see how long it takes them to send out this train to the station. All right, looks like the train is now stopped in the station. People getting off, people getting off. All clear. That was so quick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, that was like 45 seconds. Jesus. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> so I actually didn't get on Phoenix just now. We got to the front of the line and the ride attendant told us that we have to go to guest services to get a media pass because Jason has a GoPro. So I don't know. I'm actually kind of lost right now. I need to find my way back to guest services. Uh, Should have been back the way I came. <laughs> This park is not the most straightforward layout. So many people. We're heading back up to the entrance to Phoenix right now. Jason got his media pass card thing so he can record with his GoPro chest mount. And the attendant up here gave us permission to cut out this whole entire line outside the entrance. So we just have to go back up to him and he'll let us in up there. Sucks for all these people, but we were waiting. The line for Phoenix used to go straight up into the station from here. And they just added these new switchbacks for the season, I think, where they go all the way out to here and then back again. And then you go up into the station. So that kind of sucks. But, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. It was kind of necessary to begin with. The original line wasn't very long at all. Out here in line for Phoenix, we have a ton of headstones for defunct rides. And I noticed at least one of them isn't accurate. This Rolling Thunder one here, it was built in 1977 or 78, I think, and uh, removed in 2013. At least they got the removed part, right? This looks really cool here. It looks like it's been sitting for a while. There it They transferred that train quick as hell. I know. It's so <laughs> modern for such an old Woody. They have the other train stopped right there on the lift, and they literally like just stopped it less than a minute ago. And then they have the other train already on the track moving. Jeez. Good job, quick, Nobles. All right. So we're probably going to get on this thing quick. And the line's probably going to get pretty short, too, now that yeah. we're running two trains. Because they already dispatched the trains in like 30 or 45 seconds. Yeah. And then that should start up in a couple seconds once they move the transfer track back over again. Transfer track's moving back over. What if that train stops and starts right as the transfer track gets? It should, if they got their fingers on the buttons quick enough. And that train should start moving now any second. Maybe. <laughs> Any second. Any second. Any second. There we go. <laughs> wow. All right, now it's running two trains. Sweet. That works good for us. That may help actually help us. Y'all. I 
guess the rabbit works. They're loading people again. <laughs> Yo, who dropped like cream on top of the roof here? There's like little cups of cream for, milk. for coffee. Go. Wow, already? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I think he has to wait for the train to make it past a certain point. Send it. Do it, send it. I want to stop at the lift. Dude, if we stop on top of the lift, and we'll laugh so hard. Metal bar. Every, every time I slam back down, go, 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 go. Dude, every time you slam back down, my ass. <laughs> Woo, Phoenix. I love this track. Wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> and. Dude, the train just left the lift. And it's ready to dispatch. They can't even dispatch the train yet. Very efficient operations. Jason, how's that ride? Oh, he's so mad. It's we so got mad. up. We got up into the station, and they put us at row nine. Jason wanted the front row because he's wearing chest mount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I don't got good POV. Uh, the POVs obviously come out a little bit better on the pivot heads uh, when you're sitting in a further back row because you get a higher up uh, vantage point so you can see above people's heads. But, oh, uh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, I banged my knee so hard on one of the air Okay, every time I slam back down, <laughs> I, hit the, I hit the seat divider. Also, we're walking past the line right now for Phoenix. Yeah. It goes like... Oh, we waited from right, like right about here, right? Yeah, like right by the sign right here. This and is the gift shop if you want to go in. Uh, yeah, I'll go in there later probably. But um, good thing they added the second train because they really needed today. And um, again, this park is kind of hard to regulate capacity with because it's open on all sides. Like there's no general front gate. So you, you pretty much can just walk in on your own. And it's kind of hard to limit the capacity when it's open like that. But I don't even know where, can we go to Twister? Yo! Sorry about the sun glare, but this is their new for 2019 ride. Uh, yeah, Tumbling Timbers. It's basically like an SBF spinning car, uh, ride. I don't even know. Where are we going, Jason? I'm trying to go to Twister, but Jason's like dragging me around somewhere else. I don't know where we're going. This ride apparently is closed. That's weird. Look at that. They have like a big tent built up around that ride. It's so weird. Chance Wipeout looks like it's not going to be opening this year. Just sitting over there. What the hell is going on with it? Ooh. 
nice. anything with this kid. Literally takes pictures of everything. Guess I can't complain with the shot of Twister right over here. Flying turns is closed this year because they're actually extending the layout, believe it or not. I wonder how that's gonna work out. That's pretty interesting. And then here's the best drop tower in the world. No I'm just kidding. It's so it's really good though. Best part about this ride, you can't see directly above you, so you don't know when it's gonna drop. And there it goes. Oh, so forceful. That's so fast. Oh it my god. It just doesn't stop to. Line for Twister goes all the way out here to this bridge. We might come back to it. I think it's running two trains though. Yeah, it is. It is, yeah. But uh, we'll come back for it. So good. Oh, look at the size of those swans. Jason and I just popped a squat right here underneath this flat ride. Yep. And we got pizza. Um, it's all right. It's nothing special. It's definitely better than Primo's Pizza at Great Adventure. Six Flags Pizza is total garbage. Like, this is a step up from Primo's that. was actually good this year. I don't like it. I, to be honest with you, this might even be Primo's Pizza. <laughs> We're going on downdraft now. It's the uh, spinning airtime ride. The Ferris will go so fast. I think I, it's hard for me to tell if you actually get airtime on this or not, but we'll find out, I guess. Well, last weekend was uh, Phoenix Fall Fun Fest, and um, this weekend it's just a uh, hell of fun. Draft coming on. This is so weird. Lateral. Oh, yeah. Heavy laterals. Like really heavy laterals. Oh, I know. Dude, they should have angled them to the right and then we would have split out. Oh, I'm, now I'm freezing cold. What was that? It was magnificent. Oh, ah, my leg. Yeah, this is uh, freaking crazy uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. I mean, I think I'm dizzy. Same. <laughs> Not bad, not bad, not bad. Thank you. Well, that was interesting. A lot of laterals on that ride. I didn't get any airtime though, which kind of sucks. But right now we're heading over toward Black Diamond, the park's indoor wooden.
coaster. It's kind of what, I don't know, it's weird to explain. It's like out one track, but it's indoors. It's, I don't know. It's a cool coaster. I just don't know how to describe it. <laughs> We're heading over there right now. It's kind of chilly out today. It's only like 55, so you can see everyone's wearing sweatshirts. Park's Wave Swinger ride's closed today. It's called Italian Trapeze. Doesn't look like it's been open all season. And uh, Jason just rode this. Row up plane. This ride's really cool. I got on it once last year. Or not last year, it was like two years ago. Super cool ride. 4K. Okay, don't fast question too much, okay? Oh wait, is it, is it, can I, wait, I can swish you on this? Okay. I'm sorry. This is like Thunderbolt with Jonathan Baker all over again. A YouTuber that I adore, that I almost killed because I sat in the wrong place at Kennywood. So I had to do like this to try and not hurt him. There's no way to prevent it on this thing. <laughs> well, Thunderbolt, there is no way, and I literally killed my hands by no, doing it. Both sides get squished, so it's not. Oh, okay. It's pretty bad. That makes me feel better. <laughs> you ready? Oh, no. Holy shit. Well, I'm not squishing that bad yet. Oh, because we haven't tilted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing is so big. I hate it, but I love it. Oh, no. Are we, are we tilting? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, we're not, I'm not slamming into you yet. See, I got you. You're welcome. See, watch, I won't watch this. Oh, my God. See, look how good I am at this. so hard to do. I love it. I don't yeah. I don't want to hurt you. Let's do it. No. Let it go. It's okay. It well, we're, we're good now, so. Uh -huh. When we go backwards though, ooh. This thing is so weird. I like it. It's so old. Exactly. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Welcome everyone, the Rollo plane. We're about to die. We're going backwards. Oh, shoot. Backwards is pretty fun. Oh, shoot. That is so weird. That's so weird. Oh, my. It's like a weird, such a weird feeling. It is such a weird feeling. Oh, my God. I don't know how to feel about this ride. This park is so weird. Oh no, we're gonna slam into each other. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Whoa, that's so... Oh my God, you're... Hello. No. You're one train hopping me. This thing's a classic. I like this. It's so weird. It's weird. Oh my god. There's like air time, but like... But no air time, but like air time? Like a little bit of floater. Oh. Hey guys, look, it's a good view. Come on, take a photo. Take a photo, Jason. Yep, take a photo. Look at this photograph. Take a photo, Jason. Yep, take a photo. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. I'm gonna... Oiling the gears. Doing the steel. Playing some hockey. All aboard the Rona Express. Everybody climb on board. This train's leaving the station. Insert Tom Hanks getting Corona. <laughs> yeah, if I were those kids' parents, they totally wouldn't let them climb on that right now. That's sketchy. I would have known that Phoenix had the second best restraint. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god. PTC, like the whole car is like Boeing. scared me while I was trying to fill a POV. <laughs> Uh, Black Diamond, which is like a janky boardwalk style attraction, but it's actually pretty well themed. A lot of, a lot of cool theming in there. A, little, a couple jump scares and stuff. But we're I heading right. Uh, we're heading right now into the Knobles History Museum. I'm just gonna take a quick look. Oh, nice gift shop. And then I'm assuming some of the history stuff is around the corner here. Knobles is in the heart of coal country, so you're going to see a lot of mining stuff in here. <laughs> Looks like Centralia starts right there. Ooh, we found an alternative entrance to the Knobles Museum. This runs through all the different mascots the park has had over the years. Starting over here on the left side of the museum is the history of Knobles going across the entire wall starting in 1820. And you can, of course, pause the video and look at some of the different attractions that were added in each year. That's pretty cool. And it looks like they added stuff pretty much every year since the park 
started, which is insane. And um, I plan on riding the, where is it? I just saw it. Uh, is, that the, is that the carousel that's open now? No, the 19... Oh, no. Grand carousel. Yeah, the grand carousel. There it is. I'm gonna get on that. It's brass ring. We gotta go over there. We even put a part of a Ferris wheel in here. Over here, normally you can mine for gemstones. I think it's closed right now because of COVID, but it's pretty cool. I just popped out of this merch shop. I'm gonna get this souvenir penny now. I think it's automatic. I think it just like goes. Yeah. And there it goes. Sweet. Just picked up some cool merchandise from the gift shop across from Phoenix. You can see here I got this shirt. It has all the posters on it and a couple of the rides. Over here we've got the Golden Ticket Award Phoenix 2018 shirt, and this was only like seven bucks. Now we've got a couple of pins here. Funny story actually about this twister pin here on the right. It actually broke on me right when it came out of the gift shop, and they ended up replacing it. No questions asked. So shout out to you guys, that's awesome. And then we got this cool mug right here. It just says best wedding poster. It'd be great for work. Oh, the flies are running backwards. Uh, what's going on? That tractor engine going for the highest. Yeah, you know what to do, Adam. Yeah, you got you, this. You got this. Hey, do not, not whip. whip the sails. <gasps> Wait, that's not the same thing as snapping the flyers, though. See, like, they're saying whip the sails, but we that's snap the flyers. That's not the same thing. <laughs> no, that sounds good, man. <laughs> Nobody fell off that rule. They did just switch out the ride out, though. It's a different guy this time. Yeah. Oh wait, is he gonna kick the throttle up is the question. The throttle's on the other side of the uh, tracker engine. There he goes, there you go, ready, ready? Oh. <laughs> this is fucking centered. He's still going. He's still going. 
<laughs> no, I don't think he. I don't think he, he no, no, he keeps hitting the lead right there. <laughs> the poor ride up. <laughs> he's away from the slow down. They've been waiting. They've been waiting. <laughs> Even when it runs so slow, he's so good at it. <laughs> He's a pro. <laughs> Got it. Oh, he's done. I don't think the ride off's gonna start it again after that. <laughs> uh, Adam just tore this shit up. I, I told you to cut it a few times. You were just like, eh. dude, the ride off freaking hated you. He kept slowing it down because of you. That was good. Even when he slowed it down, you still were able to snap. Nice. Jack of all. Hello, so this should be recording, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Flyers at Knobles. I am not gonna snap as hard as Adam Torres did like two cycles ago, but I'm gonna try and snap. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Hope you all enjoy this like flyer POV of me being going, me maybe going B-A-T-C-S-H-I-T -T crazy. <clears throat> Let's do it. I'm gonna sit on this, like this. Oh, here we go already. They didn't even check our restraints, jeez. Sean, they didn't even check our restraints. They're just gonna have it go around so they look. Oh, here we go. Oh, is 
that the end of the ride or is he gonna speed it up again? Oh, he's speeding up again. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, mother. <laughs> oh my god, Sean. Oh my god. That was great. I love that. You're like, yeah, stop. can you stop me? <laughs> there you go. That was so awesome. <laughs> I was not whipping the camera, but I was making sure I was high enough to fucking scare people. I came within a few inches of people. I love that ride. <laughs> I love that ride so freaking much. We just came off the best ride in the park, the Flyers. Yeah, <laughs> Hands he down. snapped like shit. I tried going 90. I snapped I snap like shit? You mean I snapped good? <laughs> Oh no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Adam Torres snapped like. No, Adam. No, he he snapped even crazier than I did. They kept slowing the ride down because of us. <laughs> it was awesome. For him, they slowed it down like five times. Yeah, they eventually stopped to cycle early, and I think they stopped our cycle early too. They did too. I don't know. It was awesome. I was. Though. I did one bounce. You did like three. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I got like a few good ones. I wish I came up here. In real time, this is how fast the Ferris wheel goes. Yeah, not not a time lapse. Jesus. Real time. You get air time at the top of that thing. <laughs> You ready, Jason? How far away is your truck? Uh, it's not too far away. Once it gets darker, I'm gonna get a tripod and do a like long exposure of the train going around the whole layout. Oh, that'd with be the really lights cool. on the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. Yeah. That'd be sick. So we're about to get in line for this. It's literally like a huge line, and it's only running one train, so it should be fun. Let's send it. If I could, I'd just ride the flyers all night, but. Oof. It's an hour from first corner. We're not even at the first corner yet. Yeah, so we just dipped out of line for this. And look at this freaking second train just chilling on the transfer track. Like, they have an hour plus long wait right now for this ride. And they're only running one train. There must be some type of mechanical issue or something. That's, yeah. That's the only thing I can think of. Because they definitely would add it if they could, I think. If it has a shorter wait before we leave, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably head back here again before we leave. We still have like two hours left at least. Yeah. Does anybody know when they changed the Knobles sign here from red to pink? I remember it vividly being like a dark red color. It was kind of creepy looking at night. And now it looks really cool and approachable. They mounted a witch to the side of this ride, riding a broomstick. I love it. Luckily well, it's running two trains and uh, it doesn't only seat like four people per ride. Yeah. Oh, that was in 2018, right? Yeah. 2017 Altura one. 
2019 Ogre Dash one. I don't know, it, it, it always fluctuates. Jason and I are in line right now for Phoenix and it was all the way out to the gift shop on the midway past the, uh, the catering group. Guess how long we just waited? I don't know. 15 minutes? Yeah, 10 or 15 minutes, not even maybe. This line is moving faster than anything else in this park, I guarantee it. Maybe not, maybe not Twister, I don't know. I don't know if Twister has a longer train or not. Twister has, I think, about the same capacity. Not sure, but even with the capacity problems running two trains, it takes them like 40 seconds to check. Like, it's ridiculous, the, the speed of the operations here, especially at Phoenix. Oh look, there's the chair swing that's not open. And the rocket tub that's not open. Hey, this ride's not open either. Closed, closed, closed. The lighting in this station is so cool right now. They were out of the spot entry and for a lot down and flipped it up. Go, 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 go. Jason, sit on the other side so we at least have different seats this time. Wait, these are the same seats. And dispatch. No? Oh, I love the effects in here. That was like, what, 25 minutes maybe? Yeah. That was not bad at all. I'll wait again for that. Yeah. The, look at the, you can't, uh, whoa, whoa! I still love this freaking ride. Oh, that's so good. All right, now we gotta get the hell out of the way so I can send this train again. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So we waited about 20 or 30 minutes for Phoenix just now, and guess what? We're back in line again. We, we met back up with Adam, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go on again. So <laughs> hopefully we don't get Ron I'm gonna be pissed. Don't, you don't have to step, just step on the seat and walk over. Here, wait, also in the same seat area. Here, wait, aww. Now I'm gonna get ass. Great. I hate I hate exit past people.
Probably. Sitting toward the front. I'm pretty sure the air time is going on. It is. Whoa! You're crazy, Adam. I think I need to help. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're stopping on the left. Yay! Oh, we almost didn't clear the block. Yeah, we almost didn't. That would have been cool. I would have liked that. Photo there. Oh. Oh. That thing's so aggressive. so close. I am too. Oh, jump out of the train like El Toro. <laughs> dude, dude, that was crazy. Dude, I got an airtime moment on, on a pothole. Sean, at the top of a hill where there was a pothole, I got more air time. What the This ride's stupid crazy. Okay, Twister maybe? They're going to the Twister too. Alright, we're finally in line for Twister. <laughs> I've, been, I've been waiting to ride this all day. <laughs> oh man, it's just been such a crazy day. There's so many people here. Twister is running double terrain. That means there's a train ride that runs directly under Twister. It's pretty awesome. Can't hardly see it. But it's there. And we're about to get on Twister after waiting only about maybe 20 minutes. Not bad at all. Grade 2 train operations. They're rolling trains right out of the station. No waiting yeah. at all. Really good operations here. Except at Impulse. Yeah, everything except Impulse. Because they still only have one train on that ride. I've Cell phones and cameras are not permitted on the ride at any time. Like it was about 20. Safety of others around you, yes, but you please stay in
What in the hell was that? Oh my god. That was crazy. I'm so cold. Oh. Can you see me? Yes, Jason, I know. You got a lot of room, okay? Did you get on video? Wait. We just came off coaster. That was really good. I like the ride a lot. Something I noticed was the, the thickness of the track on there is like ridiculous. They added like four or five extra plies worth of plywood on there. It's insane. But it runs really well, nice and smooth. And then at night, you have no freaking clue where you're going. So if you just like put your hands up, it's basically just like closing your eyes. Like you have no clue. And I still don't have the layout memorized. So toward the end of the ride, I'm just like, what the hell is going on? That was fun. I like that. Uh, we have like another hour or so left and then we have to head out so we're gonna check out a couple more rides probably maybe get some shots of some coasters and see, what, see what's up there's one of the random houses that's on the property someone probably lives in there it's so weird yeah there's like a tv on someone's chilling in their house right now while like everybody's out here that's crazy a live entertainment over here by the closed down chair swing ride this place looks like it has banging cookies. It just doesn't make any sense because it's on the back of this loaf building. It looks like it should sell bread. I know, I thought it sold bread. I Jason was, was so something. excited. He was going to bring his mom home a loaf of freaking bread. <laughs> they might actually sell some bread in there. I don't know. It doesn't look like they might have like banana bread or some type of sweet treat like that. But the Dole Whip stand is closed. I'm so sad. I would have loved a Dole Whip. Let's do that. Last time I was here, I got a Dole Whip sampler for like five bucks, dude. It came with like four different flavors of Dole Whip on it. It was ridiculously cheap. So good. Oh, and I, I love Dole Whip. Woo, look at that light. Oh, it's so nice. Ferris wheel looks beautiful. And we're gonna go back to the car right now to get uh, Jason's tripod. We're gonna get some nice shots of Impulse at night. I'm definitely a little bit bummed out that we didn't get to ride Impulse because it's such a fun ride. It's really good. Very similar to a Gerslauer Eurofighter. I want ride. to try the new trains because they're cannibals. Yeah, they got brand new trains, the same ones as Cannibal at El Lagoon. And it would have been really fun to be able to experience that, but it's cool. We'll come back here again sometime soon, hopefully after COVID's over. and okay, We can actually get some decent rides without having to wait really long. But this park has the tendency to get pretty busy on the weekend. So when they're open during the week next summer, I'm probably going to come back on like a Wednesday or something. Oh, so that's the time where we can film. Just get as many rides in as possible on the coasters that we love here because there's so many rides. And there's so much to do here, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And next year there won't be any COVID, so they'll allow us to come. <laughs> well, oh man, I really hope COVID disappears before next season. Let's hope. Let's hope. Whew. It's freaking 45 degrees out. Oh yeah, way colder than it is back where we live in New Jersey. I don't know, it's probably like a good 10 or 15 degrees warmer back home. Oh, I found the car. <laughs> All right, Jason finally found his way back to the car. Um, okay. That means it's time for us to head out and drive three and a half hours back to the Garden it State. Three and a half hours. No, on the way here. Well, on the way back, it should be a little bit shorter because of traffic. It's like late. Ooh. But yeah, I took my face mask off because we're back here at the car. And uh, holy crap, is it cold out? It's like 43 degrees or something like that. And uh, ooh, I got a long drive ahead of me. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Sorry, I'm a little shaky right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to him. Yep, subscribe. He deserves it after driving this. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. Yeah. <laughs>